Hello, my name's Dave. I'm from the Regal UK team at Talonic Instruments Limited. I've been using Regal's new DSG 3060 and Regal's brand new DSA 875 7.5 GHz spectrum analyzer to do some testing on some microwave kit. And today I'm going to show you a couple of different pieces of, of kit, especially in a moment an yttrium iron garnet oscillator. But first of all, let me just show you the use of the traces on this 7.5 GHz analyzer. I've been testing this three-port circulator. You can see uh, that this one here has got its covers off. You can see the little magnet there for polarization. And uh, this particular one here, I've just been testing on the DSA875 uh, by looking at ports one and two and ports two and one. And it's very important, by the way, that you have the third port terminated on there when you're doing those tests. So here on the screen we've got the traces from port 1 through to port 2, and then from port 2 through to port 1. And they're both superimposed on the same Regal screen. So I'm just going to show you the trace menu right now. allows you to select a trace, and then to decide for that trace what is displaying. So right now, on the trace menu, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, can you tell me about trace 1? I'm going to say, can you blank it off right now? And then for trace 2, I'm going to ask it to blank trace 2 as well. And you can see now just the coupling from port 1 to port 2 is shown on the screen. And you can see in this band here, there's a very high... Uh, level of output showing that this three port circulator has very good coupling in this band. But if we take a look, if we turn that trace off right now, and we take a look at the second trace, let's make that one blank right now, and uh, put the other one back on again, make that one blank. So this is the trace from port 2 back to port 1 again. And you can see that in that band that we just looked at, there's an extremely fine notch showing that this circulator will not allow any RF energy to pass from port 2 back to port 1 again. And you can repeat that test in the circle around the circulator to show that RF energy can only be transmitted one way or the other. And that uses the trace function very nicely on this DSA 875. I keep forgetting this is a 7.5 seven gigahertz instrument. Now I'm going to pick it up because it's nice and light. I'm going to move the analyzer over to my second more interesting piece of test gear. So this piece of test gear right here was built by a friend of a radio amateur friend of mine. Uh, Robin kindly loaned me this piece of equipment. It is an yttrium iron garnet oscillator, which is a very specialized oscillator for used for gigahertz frequencies where you want to be able to tune a very wide band of signals. And the nice thing about yttrium iron garnet oscillators is they provide a good output over gigahertz frequencies, over a wide range of gigahertz frequencies. Now before I plug it into my analyzer, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to take the trace back to blank again. I'm going to enable trace one to do a clear right trace. Now I'm going to use an attenuator. I happen to know this is a good attenuator for between two and four gigahertz, which is what this yttrium iron garnet oscillator, YIG oscillator, will produce. So the YIG oscillator will sweep anywhere in that range. This attenuator will provide me with 30 dB of attenuation over that range of frequencies. I'm going to make sure that that is safely attached onto the front of my DSA875 analyzer before I get started. So uh, what I've done is to show the full 7 gigahertz of span. This is right down at zero. This is right up at 7 gigahertz. And you can see that the oscillator produces a sweeping signal that's between the 2 and 4 gigahertz level. Yttrium iron garnet oscillators 
are a very elegant principle. They use a small jewel type of material that has uh, ferrite properties. And those ferrite properties mean that when you put a DC direct current magnetic field around the jewel itself, then it will oscillate. Its magnetic field will resonate a little bit like a compass needle. If you give it a nudge with your finger, it will swing backwards and forwards. And the very nice thing about yttrium iron is that the material properties are very uniform. So all of the electrons in the material oscillate at the same frequency, producing a very sharp spike. If I turn the sweep off on the oscillator, you should see that that is just a constant frequency. And I can move it around by manually adjusting the frequency of oscillation. And the way that I do that is I adjust the magnetic field around the YIG crystal inside that oscillator. And it has quite a nice wide range of frequencies. Let's see what frequency that is. If we use the marker function on the analyzer, I can move that marker. And if I move the frequency downwards, you can see that it, it reaches about down to about 2 gigahertz. Then the oscillator will give up. And there's about, uh, you can see there's about 60 dBm of signal after the 40 dB attenuator. So I've got about minus 20 dBm coming out of the unit here, uh, which is plenty enough for aligning receivers at gigahertz frequencies. So just a close up on the screen to show you the frequency range is center frequency 7.5 gig, uh, 3.75 gigahertz. Full span is from 0, well 9 kilohertz, up to uh, 7 gigahertz, 7 gigahertz, 7.5 gigahertz is the right hand end here. Uh, so we're doing a full uh, sweep across that range. And the marker right now I've got set to that little peak there, uh, which is just at uh, 4.475 gigahertz. Um, just uh, showing you a couple of the other menus. I'm going to use the little storage stick here. I can put, just push over here. There's a little print button. I can just push print and it will go straight away. What do you want to do? I want to print this um, uh, as file called D. Um, I just enter D there. And there we go. That saves it straight away to that stick without any fuss. And that's the screenshot you can see now, showing great quality that you can grab to USB stick. Just a reminder, while it's saving that, uh, when you're doing any measurements with the analyzer, just make sure that you protect the input of the analyzer. I'm using this nice wideband attenuator, uh, which does about 40 dB of attenuation, uh, just to protect the sensitive input of DSA875. So I want to say thank you very much to Robin who provided this YIG oscillator uh, via the Reading and District Amateur Radio Club and um, hopefully you'll have great fun with this analyzer. Please make sure you check out all of the other products and videos at our channel on YouTube and also at regal-uk.co.uk.